about to leave. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an extreme clean, declutter, and organize. I have so much cleaning, organizing, and decluttering motivation and inspiration for you guys in this video. I'm gonna be doing it in the kitchen, in the laundry room, the pantry, the medicine cabinet, the bathroom, and if you are noticing, a lot of these clips are from when I was pregnant, and there's even some clips from our house before this, our previous house. So if you've been with me for a while, I know a lot of you miss our old house, so that will be fun for you guys to see that. And if you're new, you'll get a peek at what our old house looked like. So I'm gonna be, I put together like a my best videos of organizing and decluttering or like my favorite and i'm going to be showing you guys like how to organize and declutter in like a bigger bathroom versus a smaller bathroom because in our old house that bathroom was really small um, same for the kitchen and the refrigerator in the other house was a lot smaller as you can see here is a clip from our old kitchen a very beautiful kitchen i love that kitchen it was a lot darker than my kitchen now but i had a lot less space i didn't have a real pantry so i'm going to be organizing in there and giving you different ideas for different spaces in your home so if you like organizing videos or you need some organizing um inspiration then this is definitely the video for you so stay tuned and i'm going to try my best to put chapters in the description box if there's a specific task that you would rather just skip to check the description box because i'm going to try to do that i'm not really sure how but this will be my first shot at trying chapters so anyways i hope you guys will stay tuned and enjoy the video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be really decluttering and organizing underneath our bathroom cabinets and in the drawers. It is an absolute mess and I hope you guys enjoy this and get some inspiration and let's just get started. All right guys, so I'm just starting by taking everything out and I'm doing some in a trash bag and then some for donating or giving to friends. And then I have also a pile of things that I wanna keep. And then once I have everything out, I'm going to wipe down and then start putting everything back in in an organized manner. I'm not gonna to talk too much throughout this video. I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch and enjoy. And I hope that this gives you guys some inspiration and motivation. It didn't take me long at all and I'm really excited and feel a lot better now that it's done. I do have on my Watch Me Clean Wednesday shirt. If you guys are interested in these, definitely check out the description box and get you one. I would love to see you guys rocking these. I think they are so cute. Um, on the front it says KCNC and on the back it says on Wednesdays we clean, hashtag Watch Me Clean Wednesday. Like I said, link in the description box. Definitely go check them out. I love this t-shirt, it's one of my favorites.
So now I'm just going through this little drawer that I keep up here on top and I'm throwing away a lot of things and just reorganizing things. This is just where I keep some of the stuff that I use on a regular basis. So that's all I was doing here and then I'm going to go through this top drawer here and clean it out and clean those little white things. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got those but I'm going to assume somewhere like Walmart. So now I'm moving on to my makeup drawer and I know I have a lot of makeup but makeup is kind of my thing. I love trying new stuff. A lot of this is old and expired and I just had to toss it out and some of it is just not something that I like. It was just I guess not a good product or whatever. It didn't work for me. So I'm throwing a lot of that away and I'm going to reorganize it. You guys will see in a minute how I ended up doing that and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I just have this little three drawer thing that I got at Walmart and I'm putting in the makeup that I want to keep but I'm not currently using so I will switch things out and I'll kind of get bored with it and I'll switch things out so that's what I was putting there and then I put that up on a shelf somewhere and I'm just vacuuming just to get the floor kind of clean of any debris and then I'm going to wipe down the vanity really good since I had everything setting up there and then I'm going to show you guys what it all turned out to look like. So I'm all done. I would say that took me tops an hour. I love how everything turned out. It's so clean and organized. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you to clean out a space in your home. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a kitchen clean, organize, and declutter with me. So I'm going to be organizing and decluttering these spaces plus more in my kitchen as well as giving it a good cleaning. So if you guys want to clean with me and you need some organizing and decluttering motivation, then definitely stay tuned for this video. And tell me what you want this time I won't take it to the heart cause I know we won't make it out. So I'm going to start here with my spice cabinet. I have a bunch of spices, gravy mixes, and like oils and things like that that we use for baking and cooking. And it's just really disorganized in here. So I'm just gonna take everything out and kind of go through it, throw away what I don't need, and then um, just organize it and kind of put it back in there. I'm also wiping out the cabinets and cleaning them as well. So right here, I'm going to show you, I was cleaning and minding my own business, talking to my friends and my alarm said garage door. So I kind of creeped around the corner to see, I thought maybe, cause sometimes we don't close it all the way. 
and I thought maybe the wind had blown it open and when I creeped around the corner there was a man standing there and I screamed and I cussed and I bleeped that out so you guys wouldn't have to hear that. it was my husband. He had gotten home way early and did not tell me. And he always tells me when he's on his way home, he said he was going to surprise me. Well, he surprised me. All right. anything fancy in this video to organize this stuff. It's stuff I've already had. I didn't purchase anything new, but I did get these little airtight plastic containers in a set. Um, these were actually a gift, I believe, but you can get them at places like TJ Maxx. You can get them at Target. They come in sets. Sam's Club is a really great place to get them. I got my sister some for Christmas last year. I got her a whole set for like $25 but um the little basket and i even think that that little three-tiered shelf that i put in there is all from the dollar tree the dollar tree is my favorite place to find organizing stuff and these little salt and pepper shakers are adorable and they are also from the dollar tree so the dollar tree is where it's at keep thinking that i could have done some Amazon is also another great place to find organizing things. I will try and find some containers that are like the ones that I have and I'll link them for you guys below if you're interested in doing some organizing after you watch this video because I know Amazon has some great ones as well. Like dominoes, my life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut and now the frostbite's creeping. So come on, why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big black hole. It got me stone cold. Now I'm going to tackle underneath of my kitchen sink where I have all of these cleaners. I have way too many cleaners. A lot of these I need to finish up. A couple of them I ended up throwing away because there was barely anything left. And it's just a mess. As you can see, there's so much under here. I found stuff I didn't even know I had, but that is life. That's how things go. So I'm just going to take everything out again and clean the cabinet out and then go through it all and see what needs to be thrown away, what I can put up in the cleaning closet, and then what I actually need under here for more of a daily use type thing. I have a lot of Mrs. Meyer soaps and sprays because I used to buy from Grove Collaborative all the time. And I don't much anymore just because I have so much I don't need anymore. So I've been really trying to use up a lot of my cleaning products. I have nothing against Grove Collaborative. I think they're great. I would order from them again. I just haven't done it in a long time because as you can see, I already have more than what I need. And I probably have enough hand soaps to last me for the next two years.
one of my soaps spilled out into this container and it made for an easy cleanup because it was cleaner and it got really sudsy as you can see when I added the hot water. But it was really gross looking and it had gotten all over all of the bottles that were in there. So I'm just rinsing these clean so that I can dry them up and put everything back in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna tackle my silverware drawer, which is where I keep not only my silverware, but a lot of other random things. There was also a lot of trash in here, which is not me, that is my family. I do not know why there was trash in here, but I found like clothing tags in here, cereal, um, like the bag that cereal comes in, the tops of those. That kind of stuff drives me crazy because I cannot understand what one must be thinking when they cut a tag off or they cut the cereal thing off and then they just put it in the silverware drawer. Like what is going through your mind when you do that? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I had to get a lot of trash out of this drawer. Also, I am fully aware that I have entirely too much silverware. I have been married for 17 and a half years, so I have a lot of stuff that I got when we first got married. I just have a hard time letting some of it go because it's still really good. Maybe it's like our favorite fork. Maybe it's sentimental. Who knows what the case is, but I do have a lot of silverware. There are worse things in this world that I could hoard, so I'm not too worried about it, but before anyone comments and says, goodness gracious, I actually have gotten rid of a lot of it <laughs> recently when we moved last year and I still have that much. But what I was thinking while I was cleaning out this drawer was the next time my mom or sister comes to visit, I may see if they need some because I could definitely afford to give away probably like a whole set of spoons and forks. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and wash all of this because there was like crumbs and things that had gotten in there. Lord knows how they've gotten in there, but you know those things could get really gross. So I decided to just go ahead and like wash it with hot soapy water or at least soak it with hot soapy water while I was organizing everything else that was in the drawer. That way it would be nice and clean before I put everything back in there. I just want to see you on my new grave before you turn I'm a sinner. 
I love that I can see now everything that I have. It's a lot more organized than it was. Everything has its place. And when you open the drawer, you don't have to dig for anything. It's all right there. And so you can just grab it and go. And hopefully we can manage to keep it this way for a while. Okay, so these drawers over here, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So you're gonna see a lot of trial and error on this part of the video where I was just putting things in the drawer and then taking them out and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Um, I have these cutting boards in here now and then I have like recipe books. I decided to put the recipe books up with inside of the baking cabinet, which is above the ovens there. I have like all of our flour, sugar, anything baking related up there. So I just went ahead and put those up there and then I ended up putting the cutting board somewhere else you'll see in a little bit and I ended up using this drawer for my rags but it did take a lot of trial and error because I'm not the best at organizing and I definitely did not go into this part with a plan. So I kind of figured it out as I went. And yes, I do have a ton of rags and hand towels. I use them all the time. A lot of times this drawer is almost empty because I'm constantly using them. You know that I clean my house with rags, so I'll use a rag on like the toilet and then that gets thrown into the wash. So I do use a lot of them. And then I also have a lot of hand towels. Some of them are seasonal. Some of them I use for drying dishes. And then, you know, we always have messes and stuff. So I'm cleaning up with, I'll grab one of those towels and we'll clean up if there's a spill or something like that. So I do have a lot of towels and rags and I'm okay with that because I know that I use them. 
So I didn't want them in this big nice drawer though because this drawer is a really nice drawer. It really I think was made for pots and pans. And I have pots and pans in the bottom one. So I thought maybe I would just put the bigger pots and pans in this one. And it ended up not working out. So what I decided to do was put my big mixing bowls in this drawer and then my hand towels in that drawer. And that worked out for me. So you'll see in a minute how that turned out. This drawer here, it ended up being empty. So I have it empty at one point soon. Hopefully I'm going to go through all of my island drawers and organize them. And I'm sure I'll find a purpose for this drawer then. But for now it's empty and waiting for something. From the start, this might be overrated. So I put my cutting boards under here with my large pots and pans and my lids. And I had a little pile of stuff that I'm gonna take down to our craft area where the girls paint and do crafts. So these old rags and towels will be great for down there. And then I have like a little smock, but Tucker decided that this would make a perfect bed for him. And I thought it was so cute. That's leading away from, away from me, baby. So now that I'm done organizing, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen to make sure that it just feels nice and completely done because there's nothing like a clean kitchen. So I wanted to wipe down the appliances, wipe down the countertops, do the floors, you know, basic stuff. It wasn't really dirty. I just wanted to give it a nice freshen up. So I'm using this Miracle Spray for granite that I got at TJ Maxx. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. I do like it. It definitely is a great cleaner. It doesn't leave streaks or anything on my granite, um, but I'm not necessarily like in love with it. And I know it's not the easiest to find because I did find it at TJ Maxx. So I don't know where they sell it like normally. Maybe it's just TJ Maxx, who knows? But I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99 too. So it's not the cheapest either. I definitely have others that I would recommend over it, but that is what I'm using and I do like it. So I'm not disappointed that I bought it if that makes sense because it does work. I just don't know that I would ever buy it again. So 
I guess I'll take this time to kind of update you on my pregnancy. I know a lot of you have been asking. I do share over on Instagram all the updates, ultrasound pictures, doctor's appointments, things like that, new things that we have gotten, um, nursery sneak peeks, all of that over on Instagram. So if you're interested in following me there, then I would definitely recommend that because that's where I share most of like non-cleaning related stuff. I don't really share a lot of that over here on YouTube, but I did want to give you guys a little update. So everything is going great. I am 21 weeks pregnant and you probably know but just in case we are having a boy i'm due the beginning of march and everything has been going great so far no issues um, i feel great i feel a lot better than i did in the beginning my biggest complaint is my back my back has been killing me my sciatic nerve hurts really bad it's a daily thing that i struggle with especially if I do a lot of cleaning or anything, any sort of physical activity. By the end of the day, I consider myself to be completely broken. I can't move and I'm in so much pain. I do have a back brace and that does help, but I'm really bad about remembering to put it on. Um, but other than that, I feel great. I'm not tired and I have a lot of energy and I'm not having morning sickness anymore or anything like that. So, and everything's checked out so far. Um, we've had our 20 week anatomy scan and he's healthy. I'm healthy. So thank God everything has been going so good so far. Um, and yeah, we've started getting the nursery ready. As you saw in last week's video, I did show a sneak peek. So if you missed that, definitely check that out. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. There's really, it's not, there's not a whole lot going on. Everything's going really good. So that's pretty much my update. My steam mop in today's video because I didn't want to break out the Bissell to do just the kitchen because I didn't want to have to worry about cleaning it afterwards for just doing such a small area plus I like to switch it up from time to time anyways the steam mop is great because it sanitizes the floor and it cleans it really really good so I just went ahead and did it this way this time I love this steam mop this is a Bissell steam mop and it's one of the best ones that I've ever had I've tried a few throughout my life and this Bissell one is great um, if you're interested, I will link it. Um, but now I'm done. I'm done cleaning and I'm done organizing. It feels great. I hope that this it motivated you guys to get some cleaning and some decluttering and organizing done in your own kitchen. I'm lighting a candle. This one's from Bath and Body Works. It smells amazing. And I'm calling it a day. So thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. I appreciate you. I love your comments. I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate thumbs up. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up up and leave me a comment. Let me know um, how you're doing. How are you doing? How How's everybody doing? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. And again, thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see some of you over on Instagram, but until then, I will see you next week.
guys welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Jessica and today I'm going to be tackling my laundry room I'm going to be organizing in here and cleaning it and also I wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Cricut I'm so excited to share with you guys my new toy it has made organizing so much fun and it's so easy to use so definitely stay tuned for more information on that but if you need some laundry room organization slash cleaning motivation this is definitely the video for you I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do Okay, so I'm just giving you an overview of my laundry room. I would eventually love to paint in here and do different shelving and different flooring and all kinds of fun, pretty things. But this is what I'm working with for now. And it's quite a mess, kind of a catch-all space. I have some cleaning appliances in here, lots of cleaning products because I like to keep cleaning products upstairs as well because we do have a two-story home. So I like to keep stuff that I use up here, up here. We do not have a linen closet upstairs unfortunately. So I use this dresser as my linen closet. So I'm going to go through and organize that as well. So the first step for me in any type of project where I'm organizing is to take everything out of the space. So that's the first step. We're going to take everything out and then we'll have a blank slate to start with. I did want to show you guys I had some dirty rags I was going to go ahead and clean them while I was up here so I'm just using some powdered Tide just because that's what I had and then I used this Lysol concentrate that was actually sent to me by a subscriber I am so grateful for this because I love it and I have definitely used it this is what I have left of what she sent me but I like to use it to sanitize and clean my rags so I have a sanitize cycle on my washer and I just run it through that and I use just laundry detergent and then that Lysol to clean them and then when I put them in the dryer I run them on a sanitized cycle there too which is just a really long really hot cycle So this dresser came with our bedroom set, but we really don't have room for it in our room in this house. So I decided to use it here in the laundry room and it works perfectly. It fits perfectly in the space and it works as my makeshift linen closet. So I just have some like extra sheets and pillowcases and things. I even have, I think a couple of pairs of curtains in here. So I just wanted to go through everything and fold it back up nicely and put it in there a lot better than what it was because it had just gotten crammed in there. And then I also decided to take a couple things out to donate or sell I watch you as you dry do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feel I also use the bottom drawer in here for all of our swimsuits and I have not went through these in years and years. I have swimsuits in here from Kins or not from Kinsley. Kinsley's my youngest, but from Madeline, who's my 13 year old. I have some of her swimsuits in here from when she was like four years old and I did keep some of them for Kinsley, but I did donate a bunch of them as well. So I just went through and organized them by what we want to keep, what fits, and then I got rid of all the rest.
Okay, so now for my Cricut Joy, you guys, I'm so excited about this. So like I said, Cricut is sponsoring today's video. They did send me this machine, but I absolutely love it. It has made my life so much easier. I love how portable it is. I just have it in this carrying case, but I literally can just bring it anywhere that I am doing the organizing and set it up. I just plug it in and connect it to Bluetooth and it's ready to go. And the absolute best part of it is they have created an app just for the Cricut Joy. It is available right now currently only for iOS devices, but I can use my phone to create labels or any project that I'm wanting to do right from my phone. So today I'm using their smart vinyl, the writable vinyl with the pen to make the labels that I'm going to show you. So here's one that I had already made for my cleaning supply bucket, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to kind of go through the process. So here's the app. Super easy. I just went to quick labels and it walks you through everything, which I love. So it's super beginner friendly. Anybody can do this. Honestly, a child could even do this. So like if you had a teenager that really likes to do crafty things or organization things, this would be perfect for them. But it's so perfect for someone who, like me who likes to do organizing, but I like simple, easy, and quick. So like I said, the app just walks you through everything and you can customize your labels. You can change different fonts and different colors. You can even get different color pins, different color vinyl, all kinds of things. It's so much fun. So I had decided to put my Tide powder into a cuter container. Obviously the orange box it comes in is not very cute. And so I wanted to label it. So I just brought my Cricut Joy up here and I'm just quickly making a label. It literally takes less than five minutes. It's so easy. So you can obviously do different projects with the Joy. It can cut up to 20 foot rolls. So if you wanted to do a bigger project, you can. You can look in the app. If you wanted to download the app and kind of browse through it and kind of see some of the ideas, you could do that as well. There's so much you could do with it, endless possibilities. I'm super excited to do more things with it because it's so easy to use. I love, like I said, that I can literally just bring it into the room that I'm doing the organizing project and just plug it in. It, connects right to my phone and in less than five minutes I can make something super cute that just really changes the look of everything. So obviously the ugly Tide box, I'm pouring it into this container I already had. I labeled it Tide and now it's super aesthetically pleasing but it's also very functional. I'll link everything for you guys in the description box where you can check out the Cricut Joy as well as I'll link the app for you if you want to check that out and download it, maybe like play around with it too. But this is seriously a great gift idea or even if you want to gift it to yourself because I love it. It is the best little machine ever. What I have in this bottle here is an old method bottle, but I actually have um, rubbing alcohol and water, which I use as a glass cleaner upstairs. It works really, really well. If you've never done that, it does work great. It leaves no streaks at all, but I've just kept it in this old method bottle. And I was like, well, I have my Cricut Joy up here already. It's so easy to make a label. So I just peeled off the old sticker and I quickly made me a label. And I just used a really pretty like mint or like aqua colored vinyl. And this time, instead of doing the writable where it writes with the pen, I just did it where it like cuts it out. And as you will see when I'm finished here, it just made my little bottle of homemade Windex super cute and it was so easy to do.
So organizing for me is honestly not my favorite thing. And I honestly don't feel like I'm that good at organizing either. And I usually use like things that I already have on hand. I don't like to go spend a bunch of money on products for organizing because that just kind of stresses me out. To be honest with you, I love the Dollar Tree for organizing bins. That's like my go-to. Sometimes Amazon, Walmart will have things for a good price. I never want to spend more than a couple of dollars on an organizing bin, but I really dread organizing. It's just not my thing. I love it once it's done, but I hate the process. So kind of what got through me, got through me, <laughs> kind of what got me through this project was listening to crime junkies so i was listening to the crime junkie podcast and i think i probably listened to like five stories by the time i was done in here but it just keeps my mind busy i'm focused on the story i'm listening to that and it just helps pass the time so fast Okay, so now that I have the organizing for the most part done, I wanted to do some cleaning. So I just added this attachment to my vacuum that has like the little brush and I vacuumed all of the dust off of the baseboards in here because it is a laundry room. So there's a ton of lint in here. So you couldn't really see it on camera, but these baseboards were covered in lint. So I just vacuumed that off and then I'm just cleaning them with my Mrs. Myers and just wiping them off, which was really hard for me. It might not look like it was that hard, but bending down is so hard on me. I feel like my belly is a really tight water balloon and that it's gonna like bust or I'm gonna pop it when I bend over. Oh, I'm like in that miserable stage of pregnancy where my belly, I just don't think, well, it doesn't feel like it could possibly get any bigger, although I know it's going to get a lot bigger. I am 28 weeks pregnant when you guys are watching this, so I'm definitely going to get bigger but I feel maxed out. My skin hurts and I can't bend over. I swear I need to buy one of those little picker up or grabber thingies because bending over is so hard to do. So cleaning those baseboards was like, I can't, I don't even know what to compare it to, but I was so proud of myself when I was done with that because I did not know if I was going to be able to make it through it. I did pick up this basket at Target because it's so, so cute and I will definitely be able to use it for other things in the future if I decide to, but I keep all of our extra toilet paper up here and I wanted to put it in something cute rather than just leaving it in the packaging, which is what I have been doing for the last year. I literally just throw the packaging on the floor and it looks so tacky and gross. So I got a basket to put it in and I love the way that that looks. So I'm super excited about how that turned out. We do have a walk-in attic space up here, so I did decide to go ahead and put my carpet shampoo in there because I don't use it that often. I was keeping it in the basement, which is pointless because all of our carpet that we do have in the house is upstairs. So it's been upstairs in the laundry room, but I decided 
to just go ahead and put it in that little walk-in attic space. I don't really have anything in there other than I think some Halloween costumes of the girls, a door to our closet, and now my carpet shampooer. No point to pretend anymore. Better not judge. I'm not keeping score. This is the final overview of everything and how it turned out. I'm so happy, so, so happy to have this project done. I'm kind of in that nesting mode where I'm wanting to get everything clean and organized and ready for baby. So as hard as it is for me sometimes to do these projects and to muster up the motivation when I'm done, I feel amazing. So I hope that this video helped inspire you guys to get your space done in your home, whether it be your laundry room or another. If you do want to clean and organize the space in your home and you want to send me before and after pictures over on Instagram, I would love that so much and I would definitely share them with my followers if you tag me. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica and today I'm organizing an area in my kitchen. So this is part two of my kitchen organizing series that I am doing here on my channel. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. I did get some organizing supplies from Amazon. I'm gonna have everything that I used in this video linked for you guys in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. So here is the cabinet that I keep our cereals and snacks in and as you can see, it looks terrible and I have really no space in there. So the first tip I have if you're organizing an area is to take everything out of that area first and then go through and decide what is trash and what you wanna keep. And then what I decided to do with everything was put them in matching containers that were clear so I could see what I have and everything looked the same. containers do hold one whole box of cereal. I just had a little bit left in one of these boxes and then a brand new one. So I just combined the two and then I took what I had left over and put it up in a box that I labeled extra. You will see that in a little bit. And that's how I just did that one because I didn't want to waste it. But just in case you were wondering, they do hold one whole box of cereal. Now I'm just going through and putting all of the snacks into containers. The original packaging that stuff comes in takes up so much space and it doesn't look very pretty. So I really recommend taking them out of their original packaging and putting them into some type of container that matches. It saves a ton of space and it just looks better that way. You will see when I'm done with this cabinet how amazing it looks. And I really didn't take much food and throw, I didn't really throw away any food actually. Um, um, I just threw away the boxes and I would just put the food in the containers and you will see it's amazing the transformation. did come with some labels and a chalk marker the labels are awesome I really like them the chalk marker I don't really know how I feel about it I ended up using one of my own it was pink and it was really runny and I tried to write something on a label and it all just bled together and looked awful so I saved it for something else I'll use at another time and I just used my regular white chalk marker and that worked out fine but it did come with a set of labels which I thought was really nice
So now I'm just doing my baking supplies. I had them all in one big basket on the top and it was really hard to get that basket down because sugar and flour are heavy. So I love how they ended up, how I have them now. It is so much more functional and so much prettier. And I love opening that cabinet now. It gives me so much joy to open these cupboards over on this side. That being said, I am doing this in small sets because I didn't want to overwhelm myself and do the entire kitchen. I had originally planned to spend a day and do that. And I'm glad that I've broken it down. And this just goes to show you don't have to overwhelm yourself and do everything on one day you can do a drawer at a time a cabinet at a time it doesn't matter as long as you are doing it so I decided on this day I was gonna tackle these three cabinets and then the three drawers below and so that's what I did I would say it only took me about an hour and I love how it turned out everything is so much more functional and definitely more pleasing to the eye so if you guys want to try this I really recommend doing it in smaller sections and hopefully you can follow along with my kitchen series and get some motivation from that and also I was thinking as I was doing this not all of this is entirely permanent I may change things up as I go I'm gonna move to other cabinets and I may decide that I want to put something somewhere else so in the end I am gonna do there's my baby with her scary mask she wanted to scare you guys but in the end I am gonna do a kitchen organization like big reveal and in that you'll see where every where everything kind of ended up where I decided that I wanted it to stay permanently This drawer was kind of a catch-all for anything extra that I had. I have never went through this drawer and we've lived in this house for seven years so it definitely caught a lot and I have way too many spatulas and things like that. I've been trying to use the KonMari method and there's a show on Netflix where she says if it doesn't bring you joy to get rid of it so it was kind of funny but I was going through looking at things saying nope this doesn't bring me joy this doesn't bring me joy and I was putting it in my donate pile so I went through my spatulas I decided what I need and what I don't need and a lot of them I had double some even triple quadruple of the same thing and I definitely don't need that many spatulas in fact I probably haven't used half of these in here in five or six years which is ridiculous so I had a bunch of extra silverware I decided to donate that as well and it got rid of I would say 90% of the things in this drawer I donate it which is awesome because now somebody else will get to have them and can actually use them rather than them be sitting in my drawer not being used And this bottom drawer here is where I kept my essential oils and diffusers and I was so happy to finally get them out of this drawer and make it more functional. I ended up putting those in a basket and they are in my cleaning supply closet for now. I don't know if they'll stay there but they're not coming back to the kitchen I know that much. So and I also had my blood pressure cuff in there and I put that in the medicine cabinet where it belongs. It's like duh, some of these things I was like why are you even here? You're, you don't even belong here. <laughs> Here was my process of elimination, deciding which spatulas I wanted to keep and which ones were going to be donated. 
So I was going to put them back in this drawer. And once I got them in there, I was like, no way. There's only a few of them. They take up so much space. This drawer is huge. It's super deep. I want to use this for something else that is more functional. So I just slid over my Tupperware and I put them down there. And in that drawer, I'm just keeping our um, Tupperware and Madeline's like lunch stuff. But you will see that did get moved. I do change things around as I go. Um, so you will see that in the end of the video where it ended up, but they, they did stay in that bottom drawer. I wanted to keep that one drawer available for something else because it just was not, it was such a waste of space to put a few spatulas in that huge drawer. So now I'm just going through my spice cabinet. I did go through and check expiration dates, throw anything away that was expired, cleaned off my Lazy Susans and put everything back. If you're wondering where I got the Lazy Susans, I caught those at Bed Bath & Beyond. So here is how it turned out. I think it looks beautiful. It's so functional. I love it so much, you guys. Let me know if you guys like how it turned out. Also, let me know in the comments if you plan to do this now that you've seen my video. I am curious to see how many people I have inspired. I know that I watch videos like this and get expired, expired, I get expired, you guys. <laughs> I get inspired to go buy the supplies or to see what I have around the house, which is another tip. You don't necessarily have to go buy new things. Look what you have around the house and use those if you want. The Dollar Tree is a great place to get things as well, but Yes, I want to know, did I inspire you? So let me know in the comments below. Now my baking supplies are easily accessible. Madeline can reach them. She loves to bake and she's recently started doing more and more of that. So I am happy that she can get to these easier. And then in that extra bucket up there, in case you were wondering, I put plastic spoons, that extra cereal that I had and some vitamins and just things like that. And then in the baking basket, I had like sprinkles and different baking supplies, cupcake things and stuff like that. And then I just reorganized all of my aluminum foil and my wax paper and stuff to where I can see what all I have in that drawer and then in this drawer I decided for now just to put our snacks in there I don't know if I'm gonna leave them but for now I think that it works and then down here I have just my mixer and my cheese grater and like I said earlier those spatulas and things like that and then Madeline's thermoses and her lunch containers that she takes on a regular basis I wanted them there where they were easily accessible for her um, and I put the rest that we don't use very often up on the top shelf of that corner cabinet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Jessica. And today we're going to be cleaning, organizing, decluttering, purging all of the things in my master bathroom because it is a complete disaster in here. I did purchase some organizing like bins and stuff. So I'll show you those, tell you where I got them from. I didn't spend very much money at all. I got them all on Amazon or at Target. And I'm gonna go through all of my cabinets and the drawers and just organize things, get rid of what I don't need anymore and give it a good clean. So if you need some motivation for your own space, then definitely stay tuned. So I was going ahead and filling up my jetted tub with just some bleach water. It's kind of sudsy from just some like bubble bath product that had residue that had been left in there from my previous bubble bath. So I had, it doesn't have soap or anything like that. Um, I just added some bleach and hot water and I was running my jets through a cycle. That's how I clean them with bleach. And I've tried a bunch of different ways and that's my favorite way to do it. So about once a month, maybe twice a month, I'll run bleach through the jets. I don't use the jets when I take a bath. Um, but I do like to clean them either way because water and stuff gets up in there. So I am just going ahead and doing that while I put together this shelf that I ordered on Amazon. I will link it for you guys. It didn't end up working in my space. It didn't quite fit underneath of my sink, which was really unfortunate because it's really cute and I think it's really functional, but I will use it somewhere. I might still even use it in my bathroom. I'm definitely going to use it. So I'm not too upset. It just didn't fit underneath of my cabinet. Our cabinets are really, really small.
I'm pretty sure this came in different colors too. I believe there was a pink one, a gray one, and then this white one. Yeah, tell me what you want. So as you can see, my vanity here is just a complete disaster. I have stuff thrown everywhere. There's no organization to it. I have so many products. It is ridiculous. So I brought a trash bag in and I definitely got rid of some stuff. And I did actually give some of my hair products and stuff to Madeline that I didn't end up liking that I thought maybe she might want to try in her hair. And I actually got this little makeup case for Christmas last year from a friend. And I'm just now this Christmas putting my makeup into it. That's shameful, but it's like got these little slots you can organize and you can move them around and make them whatever size you need. So that's what I was finally getting around to doing. And then I got these little plastic, um, like containers with lids at Target. And I think they were like 95 cents or something like that. I did like a Target pickup and they were 95 cents. And I think I got three of them. Maybe I got four, but anyways, what I'm doing is going through my makeup and I'm putting like what I use more on a daily regular basis into this little makeup organizer. And then I'm going to put products that I don't necessarily want to get rid of into the little clear container that I got from Target. Underneath of my sink area, what I really wanted to do was not only purge through my products, but I also wanted to use different containers because the ones that I have been using under here weren't as aesthetically pleasing, I guess you could say, but more so than that, they weren't as functional for what I needed. I wasn't utilizing all the space in there. So first off, I'm just gonna take everything out and then I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down. And then I went through my products and then I used, and you will see, I used those 95 cents or however, maybe they were 98 cent little clear containers to organize like all of my extra stuff. We don't have like a pantry or like a linen closet in here. As big of a bathroom as this is, we don't, that would be really nice. But this is all of the storage that I have. So I wanted to be sure to utilize it as best as possible. And as you can see, this does fit under here, but you can't open the drawers because of the hinges on the cabinet. So for now, I just have it setting here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna use it, but I know that I will find somewhere to use it. Got these little white plastic bins on Amazon. I'll try to find those as well and link them for you. Um, I think they came maybe in like a set of two or three and they weren't very much money at all because I've said this before, I don't like to spend a lot of money on organizing products. I don't wanna spend more than a couple of bucks. I usually go to the Dollar Tree actually, but just with the way things have been and just the way I've been feeling, I've been doing a lot of online ordering. So I just did it on Amazon and they were really inexpensive.
So now I'm just going through this drawer here where I had a bunch of random just extra products. I had like extra razor blades and extra skincare, all kinds of literally just a basically a bathroom junk drawer. So I'm going through that. I had some feminine products in there as well. So I wanted to just really make sure that I could see what I have. So I got these on the bullseye section or at the bullseye section at Target. I think it was $5 for all of these little um, organizing trays. And I think they had, they might have had a different color of them too. Maybe, maybe they had gray. I can't remember for sure. But white is like perfect because it matches everything. So I put a couple of those in there and then I'm just organizing. So basically just any sort of like bathroom supplies that you can think of like extra makeup sponges, razors. Um, I think I put my lip products and skincare all in here by the end of it. And I totally meant to get like an overview of the drawers when I was done and I forgot you guys. So I'm so sorry, but I did get an over overview of the bathroom. I just forgot to get one of the drawers on the cabinet, but you can kind of see kind of how it turns out. And then I have this like really awkward corner cabinet here, which I'm really happy that they did put a door there and, and they utilize that space because it would have been just a waste if they hadn't. But it's really awkward. It's really narrow and I can't really explain to you, but it's like you can't fit anything in there. I usually put my feminine products in there, but as you can see, I have like way too much when it comes to that stuff. I don't even know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I order stuff because I think I'm out and then I get it and I'm like, oh man, I wasn't actually out. So as you can see, I'm not going to need to order any feminine products for quite some time. I mean, considering I am pregnant and I won't need them for a while, but I definitely have enough to get me by for at least a couple of months. So I'm just putting them in those 98 cent or however much they were. They were less than a dollar um, little clear target bins. So those things came in handy for so many different things. And then as you can see, I was easily able to stack three of them in my cabinet there. And then I was also still able to put my little makeup case in there. So I've got my hair products, my makeup case, and then all my little extras stacked in there. And I like that they're in the clear cases because I can kind of see what's in there without opening it. And then I got these really cute little containers from Amazon. They're plastic. It came in the set of two. Um, really inexpensive. I'll link them for you. I did Q-tips in one and then like my jewelry in another one. I got this really cute little two-tiered um, stand off of Amazon as well. I got this over a year ago, I think, but I will link it for you guys. And it's really cute to display like your stuff that you use on a daily basis on there. So I put like my lotions and creams and like hair ties and things like that on there. And I set it in, or I set it like on top of my little counter there. And I think it's really cute. I think this was maybe around $20 for this. Um, but like I said, I bought it like a year or maybe a little over a year ago, but I will link it. I'm pretty sure they still have it on Amazon.
Okay, so now I wanted to kind of organize and clean up around my tub. I'd already ran cleaner through the jets and I had drained all that water out and I'm definitely going to wipe it down in there, but I have so much products just kind of sitting around. I had some like bath salts and stuff that I had gotten from Cincy. I have this really cute little corner shelf I got from Target. Um, and that's where I put like all my little bath stuff that I use in the bath because I do take a bath almost every single day. So I definitely need to have products there for me. That's just what works for me. So this little shelf works perfectly. So I'm just using, I think, Kaboom, I think is what it's called. <laughs> I was just trying to use it up because I think I did end up using the rest of what I had to wipe down my bathtub. And I normally use a little scrub brush, like a dish wand, but... On this day, I was just getting at it. I wanted to be done. I had a rag, so that's what I used. But this scrubbing bubbles stuff or the Kaboom or whatever it is, it does work really well. I prefer using Dawn Power Wash, but I was out. I just picked up some more today, but it works great for your showers and tubs. Doing what we need to do. Staying up all night. Everything is all right. So now I'm just going through all of those products on that little shelf, wiping them all down because they can get kind of gross and then kind of organizing them and deciding like if I really needed it there or if it was empty and I needed to throw it away and all that good stuff. I had some Epsom salt that I put into this plastic container here. I got this on Amazon as well. I'll try to find it and link it for you. Um, I just take the bag and pour it in there and it's just so much prettier and more convenient. And then I got these really pretty little bath roses and even the grass is like it dissolves in your bath and makes your bath water like super soft and makes your skin or it doesn't make your bath water soft. It makes your skin soft and it makes it smell good. I got those as a gift from a friend. So I'm putting them in this little clear container here because I thought that it was not only pretty but functional. And that's actually one of my kitchen um like airtight containers that I wasn't using. So definitely you can get creative when you're doing these organizing and you can definitely use things that weren't necessarily meant for that. Whatever works, that's what I say. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? smile do you know how much i love you, you put my face and then by this point i was extremely tired but i did want to still clean my toilet so i'm just using like a clorox wipe to wipe it down really quick and then using my clorox toilet wands to clean out the inside and then my camera cut off for some reason i think my battery died so it kind of just kind of cut off cut off abruptly so i do apologize for that but i hope that you guys enjoyed this bathroom organize and clean with me i hope that it gave you guys some motivation as you can see i'm just running my robot vacuum in here because i was honestly too exhausted to vacuum and mop so that could wait until the next day so just do what you can do you don't have to get it all done in one shot you guys do what you can do a little bit at a time but hopefully this helped to motivate you guys to get a project done in your home. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait for next week's video because it's my Christmas takedown. I always love that time of year where it's like a fresh start. 
It's like a blank canvas. So that will be next week where I'm digging down all my Christmas decor and cleaning. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. I have tons of cleaning videos and organizing videos on my channel. And I post videos almost every single Wednesday unless it's like a holiday. But anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and give me a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description box for links to things. So I will see you guys next week. Bye. Don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment Can't always stay here forever, forever, forever Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Me Clean Wednesday. Today I'm going to be cleaning out and organizing my refrigerator. I do keep up with my fridge by wiping it out weekly. Every time I get groceries, I wipe it down. So that's just a little tip for you guys to help maintain it so it's not as hard to clean out. So yep, that's what I do. We get, I wash it out at least once a week and then I like to wipe down the bottoms of all of the products as well because they can get really dirty and that really helps to maintain a clean fridge. So I hope you guys enjoy. If I am doing a deeper clean, I will take the glass shelves out and wash those in the sink as well. But because I do maintain my fridge, it's really not that hard to clean. So I don't have to do that very often. But I did take the drawers out and wash those in the sink just because they handle meats and produce and they can get a little bit grosser. So I wanted to wash them out with hot soapy water. So you will see me take the drawers out and wash them. But I just wiped down everything else with that Purell disinfectant and that worked really well for me. you look at that i said my friend what you're looking at i think she is something for me excuse me miss it's my first time here maybe you can show me out of here i think she got something in me so please forgive my rudeness if i'm tripping over your time but you look so amazing and we Saying, hey, girl, will you marry me? 
So I got all of these little um, aqua or mint, whatever you want to call them, containers at the Dollar Tree, of course. That's my favorite place to shop for organizing bins. And so now I'm just going to go through and organize the girls' things and whatever else is left in the fridge. Time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Now I'm going to go through all of the items in the door. A lot of those items were expired, but I do have a little tip for you guys. I like to take a paper towel and fold it in half and keep that in the bottom there for the condiments because they do tend to leak and get pretty gross. And that will help you when it's time to clean out. That way it doesn't get dried and caked in there. You can just take the paper towel out and toss it and replace it with a fresh one and it keeps it nice and clean in there. So that is my little tip for you guys. So it was really easy again for me to clean because I did have those paper towels in there and you will see in a second how I do that. Let's make the most of this night. Come on, baby, take my hand. And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do. So now I'm all done. That did not take me very long at all. Like I said, if you just wipe it out weekly, it is really easy to maintain a clean fridge. Of course, it does get a little bit out of control when it comes to organizing. So I do like to go through and reorganize everything every so often. But this is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. Everything has a place. You can easily find everything. The girls can easily reach in and grab a snack or a drink. And it's so clean and fresh and there's nothing like a clean and fresh fridge. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos and you watch them, subscribing really helps me out. And that way you won't miss when I upload. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like clean fridges. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some Dollar Tree organization. I'm gonna give you guys some organizing ideas with supplies that I bought mostly from the Dollar Tree. I did buy a couple of things from Walmart, but they were actually cheaper than what you can get at Dollar Tree. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you like organizational content, definitely stay tuned. Give and take. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica and today I'm going to be doing some organizing. There are a few random spaces in my home that I have been needing to organize. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got what I could there. Most of you probably know the Dollar Tree is very hit or miss with what you can find. Sometimes they have a lot of stuff and sometimes they don't. Um, I actually went to two different ones to get what I did get but I did get some good stuff from there um, and you could definitely order a lot of stuff online. So much better to order online if you're going to be doing an organizing project. I got a lot of good stuff so I'm really excited to get this stuff done, get it organized. I always love once it's done. I'm not very good at organizing but and I don't actually love organizing but when it's done I absolutely love it and it just like reduces my anxiety so much so if you guys need some organization inspiration then this is the video for you. Okay, so here is a before of our pantry. We do keep it organized a few times a year, but it just gets like this pretty quickly. And it's awful because when I go to grocery shop, I don't know what I have. I end up buying more than what we need. Things end up getting expired in there because we can't find them and it's just awful. So Madeline is my assistant today. She's helping me out on this video and she loves to organize. Actually, I hate organizing, but she loves it. So she jumped in. She's helping me. We're taking everything out. That's the first step. If you're going to do a project like this, take everything out of the space first. So that's step number one. You know, no, no. They would speak from my heart so we can make it right without a fight. You know. Step number two is to clean the space. So I'm vacuuming all the food and crumbs and dust that were in the bottom of the pantry and then I just quickly mopped in there as well. So the third step that I did is I took all of my organization products that I had or are these products bins <laughs> and I put them in there and kind of arranged them to see like how they would fit best and how I could utilize the space the best before I started filling them. So this is kind of what I came up with and I did want to say that these little cute mint bins were from Walmart not the Dollar Tree but they were only 98 cents so it was a better deal than the Dollar Tree. They had other colors as well so check out your Walmart Walmart, they're 98 cents. They'll probably go fast. You can use them for so many different things. In fact, I want to go back and buy more because I actually was shocked when I rang them up and saw that they were only 98 cents. I thought they were more and they're so cute and they're good quality and I can use them for so many different things like outside toys and toys in general, bath products, like all kinds of things. So run and get you some. And then I'm just using my Cricut Joy to make some labels today. I love using my Cricut Joy because I can just plug it in wherever I'm at, whatever room I'm doing the project, it can come with me. And then it just uses Bluetooth. I use the Cricut Joy app on my phone and I'm able to make labels really quickly and easily. So that's what I'm doing here. So 
So a tip that I have for you when you're organizing your pantry is to take everything out of the regular packaging that it comes in that you can. So like pastas and things like that. I get these little containers. You can find them at TJ Maxx, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Sam's Club, all sorts of places. They usually come in a box with like a set of like eight. I highly recommend getting some of those um, because you can put things like pastas and cereals and things like that in them. Not only is it more aesthetically pleasing, but it helps with saving on the space too, in my opinion. So that is one of my main tips when you're organizing your pantry is take as much stuff out of the original packaging that you can and store it in something like that. I know that you're not blind. Tell me what is really on. also got this large bin from Walmart and I was going to use it for toys but I ended up using it as our extra bin for the pantry and it fit perfectly in the bottom of the pantry but now I'm going to go back to Walmart and buy more because I feel like I could use those for so many different things as well. They would also be great for like trunk organization so I'm just thinking of that as I am editing this. I'm going to go back and get a few but one of the things I think I'm going to use it for is to put in the trunk of my car and use it to organize stuff in there. So this is the after. This is how it turned out. I love it. You can see everything that we have. The labels make it really easy if we were to have guests over or something and they were to need to find something, but also just to kind of serve as a reminder to us of what's what's where. But I love this. I love that all of these bins were a dollar or less. I love, love, love the Dollar Tree for organizing stuff. I just think it's great and I'm also so thankful to Walmart for selling these for 98 cents because I think they're really pretty. They were large. I loved the color and they just worked perfectly. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to organize is my medicine cabinet. Now, it has been a long time since I have organized my medicine cabinet. So here I'm kind of showing you, this is the cabinet that I'm going to put the medicine in. I currently have them in this corner cabinet, but honestly, it just wasn't functioning good for us. There was a lot of space in there that was wasted. I don't know how to organize those cups, those tumblers and things and make them look aesthetically pleasing. I just cannot. And even when I try, they get messed up within a day. So the main focus here was just to clear out that cabinet of Tupperware and the tumblers and I ended up putting those in the corner cabinet. They were organized but definitely it wasn't like pretty or anything so we didn't really focus on that in this video. I just wanted to focus on the medicine cabinet. So again all of these bins are from the Dollar Tree and I just went through and kind of figured out how I wanted them to go, what was going to fit in there. Um, this little acrylic turntable or whatever it is, like kind of like a Lazy Susan, that is from Walmart and it was more than a dollar. I can't remember exactly how much it was but it was like the most expensive thing that I 
bought for this video and it was like under $10. So totally worth it in my opinion. So I went through and I just sorted each of the medicines out into categories. So I had a category for pain, um, for stomach, for allergy, cold, children's, vitamins, all of the different categories that we have. And then I got a bin for that. And then I'm just organizing and consolidating is another tip. So I'm consolidating. I have a lot of the same things. So in that case, I would take some, like if it was almost empty, I would take it out and put it in another one and get rid of the packaging and that helps save so much space. So I did run out of my writable vinyl. So I ended up going the next day to Michael's and picking up. I did an online order and then I did curbside pickup and I got some more vinyl. So I came back the next day and was able to label all of these bins because I was just not happy with them not being labeled. I felt like if anybody is over and they're looking for something or like when my husband comes home and he's looking for something or even myself, like I want to know what's in what bin. So I really wanted to label them. So I went the next day and got more vinyl so that I can make labels. And my baby is waking up. Here he is in this clip. And you probably or you might hear him crying in the background. So I'm going to have to go get him. And he's probably going to join us for the rest of this voiceover. Here is the final overview of everything. I absolutely love it. I've never had my medicine cabinet organized this well in my entire life. So I'm super proud of this. I love how functional it is. And again, I love that I only spent a dollar on all of these products. Okay, last but not least is the shoe closet. Now this I did not get at the Dollar Tree. I did get this at Walmart and I think it was like $20 for the shoe rack. Ended up making it half the size of what it's meant to be because we didn't have the space to fit it in here. And it was hilarious, us girls trying to put this together. We could not follow simple instructions to save our life, but we did it. We got it together and it just made our shoes look so much better. We can see what shoes we actually have. I went through and got rid of a bunch of them to donate um, because we don't use them anymore or maybe they don't fit. Um, so <laughs> that's what you see us doing here is trying to put this together. It was hilarious. I wish I could have left in some of the footage um, of us talking about this because it was so funny but we got it done and it took way longer than it should have and i'm so sorry for the baby crying in the background i'm just trying to get through this voiceover um before i go hold him because once i hold him i'm not going to be able to do this
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you to organize some spaces in your home. Don't forget to sign up for Top Cash Back. The link is in the description box. It's totally free and it will help you to get cash back when you're shopping online. They have over 4,000 retailers that they work with. So if there's pretty much anywhere that you shop online, they are gonna have um, on their website. So you can start saving money. Thank you again and I will see you next week. To